Hello, welcome back to my channel. I just want to talk with you for just a moment about my video that I'm about to show. My intention was to film a video and talk about the value of revisiting locations, but things didn't turn out the way that I had originally planned. For one, when I got there and I was double checking my camera, I noticed that I'd forgotten my SD card for my video camera. So instead of Switching back and forth between my the SD card between my stills camera and my video camera, I decided to shoot the video on my cell phone. So I just want to let you know that the quality is not as good as if I had filmed it on my video camera. But hey, you know, things happen. My intention was to talk about the fact that when you go and revisit a location, there could be different clouds, there could be different lighting, different conditions, and you can take different photographs of familiar things. Well, the fact that things didn't go as planned, and you'll see this, that it looked like I was running around with like a chicken with its head cut off. I was, I didn't come prepared for how cold it was. And I don't even know. <laughs> In some of the spots, I wasn't even talking coherently. So I just wanted to let you know that before I show the video that this is sort of unusual. And we have those types of situations like that when you have good days and you have bad days. So I hope you enjoy the video nonetheless. So thank you again for joining me and let's get started. Good afternoon and welcome back to my channel. I'm standing here on the Chesapeake Bay. This is the Northeast River, which is interestingly enough in Northeast Maryland. Now, when I say Northeast Maryland, I'm not talking about the Northeast of in Maryland, but which it actually is, but there's a town called Northeast Maryland. And my goal for the video today is to do some long exposures. And I was here probably about three or four years ago and I took a photograph in the morning. And it has been one of my favorite photographs and I've always wanted to come back here to see what I can do again. And the sort of the theme for this video is the value of revisiting locations. Now, there are, you can go to places over and over again and you can find new photos because you have different conditions. The last time that I was here where I took that photograph, it was in the morning. There was absolutely no wind whatsoever and the water was still, as you can see by the photograph that I'm showing now, and it was just absolutely beautiful unbelievable but when we look today it is there's wind here there's some the water is a little bit choppy so I'm gonna to have to go about it in a different manner and what I'm going to do is just put on maybe a 10 stop neutral density filter to soften out the water to put some motion in the sky hopefully we're going to have a very colorful sunset tonight so we'll see so again thank you for joining me and let's go ahead and get this photography started it's really cold out here folks I really didn't come prepared <laughs> my ears are frozen but that's okay I'm having fun this first photograph that I'm taking is of this pier and 
I have my 10 stop neutral density filter on to smooth out the water and sort of smooth out the sky, give the sky a little bit of movement. Now one problem that I have is that I have the bright sun over here to the left and as a result I'm getting sun flares in my photos so I'm having to put my hand to the left of the lens to keep those sun flares out of my picture. So I think this is a pretty photograph and I'm just doing this sort of playing around looking around until sunset. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the spot where I took that photograph four or five years ago. Okay, I'm over here. The sun is going down very quickly. So I'm taking the photograph of these pilings that are in the water here to try to duplicate. Well, I don't want to duplicate, just trying to get a uh, another photograph of them. Move that back here, so I'm trying to change here. So I've got my 10 stop neutral density filter in. And I'm going to have to do the uh, the bulb so that I can do it uh, for long enough time here. It was about at this time that I was so absolutely freezing that I couldn't even speak coherently. But what I was trying to say was that I changed my setting to bulb to extend the shutter speed out long enough to smooth out the water. And that shutter speed ended up being about 51 seconds to get the effect that I needed. Well, <laughs> I've been running around here like a chicken with its head cut off. So I apologize if this video is sort of really scatterbrained and all over the place. I was freezing cold because I'm frozen. I didn't prepare like I should have. And primarily what I was wanting to do, and I haven't really talked about this, but I've been here a couple of times and the last time I was here I got that photograph that I showed earlier and I wanted to try getting a photograph similar to that in different conditions. Well again thank you for joining me. Sorry this has been so scatterbrained but I hope you at least learned something or enjoyed the sights while I was out here because it is definitely beautiful. All right, again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment. And if you like more photography videos, please subscribe and hit that bell notification icon. Thank you again, and please join me again at another time as I continue my journey in photography. Bye.